Homecoming Week, Crusaders, and welcome to the Red and Gold Show. I'm Camille Schrader, bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Happy Tropical Tuesday, Crusaders. Check out Canvas for the Virtual Flex Day Challenge for tomorrow. Then it's Throwback Thursday, aka Hippie Day, and Friday is Jersey Day. Remember to sign up today to decorate your class hallway on Wednesday from 1 to 3 p.m. Ladies need to also sign up to play in a powder puff football game on Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. on the practice field. The seniors and freshmen will take on the juniors and sophomores. You can find links to sign up for both activities in Canvas. The first 11 members of each class to sign up for the powder puff game will get a free t-shirt. In other homecoming news, Friday night's football game versus Triton Central has been moved to Beach Grove High School. The game will start at 7 p.m. Only a limited number of fans can attend the game. Students must sign up via a link in Canvas and pay $5. If you go to the game, you will get that $5 back next week. Sports Radio Network will provide a video live stream of the game, so stay tuned for more info on how to watch the game if you can't make it there. Get involved, Crusaders, and let's show off our school spirit this week. During homecoming week, the junior class student council members are collecting donations for hygiene products to put in COVID care packages for the homeless. Here's a list of hygiene products you can donate. You can drop off your donations in the rotunda every morning this week at school. You can also donate at Saturday's Powder Puff football game. Now, let's head over to Alyssa, who will keep us up to date with our Crusader clubs. Thanks, Camille. Cecina's drama department will still perform a fall play this year despite of the COVID restrictions. Cecina's theater students will perform Trap at 7.30 p.m. October 1st, 3rd, and 4th. Due to the spooky nature of the show, it is not recommended for those younger than 13. The performance will take place outdoors, and audience members must have a ticket and wear a mask. Please bring a chair or blanket for seating. Visit the theater page at cecina.org theater for more information and how to purchase a ticket for the live performance. Attention all book lovers. The book club will hold two different call-out meetings this week. The first one will be held Wednesday at 3.15 p.m. and the second one will be held Friday at 7.30 a.m. Both meetings will be held through Teams and students can find the link to Teams in the Universal Announcements on Canvas. Come to either meeting where the club members will discuss what they have been reading lately and their plans for the year. Please contact Ms. Wetzel or Ms. Murphy with any questions. The Spanish Club meeting was scheduled for today and has been canceled. Stay tuned for more information on the next meeting. That's it for clubs. Now back to Camille for more news. Thanks, Alyssa. Bring the magic of Halloween to life. If you're looking for a service opportunity, this may be for you. The Indianapolis Zoo is looking for volunteers ages 16 and older to help in a variety of zoo boo activities. Opportunities begin this week, so please act quickly if you want to get involved. Please review the complete list of volunteer opportunities available at the address on your screen. For more information or to sign up, email volunteer at indiezoo.com. Hispanic Heritage Month runs from September 15th through October 15th. During this time, we will include Hispanic Heritage Fact of the Day here on the Red and Gold Show in order to celebrate Hispanic Heritage. Today's fact is that Roberto Clemente was a famous baseball player but he also worked in the off-season organizing charity drives. Clemente donated his time and money to help others. Now, let's head over to Emily for today's Crusader Sport. Thanks, Camille. Last night, the volleyball team took on Hamilton Heights. The Lady Crusaders dominated the first game with a 25-16 win. Unfortunately, they lost the next three games to fall three games to one. The team is now 11-11 on the season. Congrats to sophomore Abby McCoy for being named player of the match by the coaches for the ninth time in her career. Abby had eight kills and eight digs during the match. Tonight, the volleyball team will be right back in action as they hit the road to take on a conference opponent. The Lady Crusaders will play a doubleheader at Triton Central with JV taking the foot at five and RC at six. Also tonight, your 7-2 and two girls soccer team will look to stay undefeated in conference play. They'll travel to Monrovia for a 5 p.m. game. Good luck, Crusaders. That's it for sports. Well, Cecina Sports, that is. Today we're bringing you a new sports talk show called JC Sports. Let's check it out.
JC Sports. I'm Connor. I'm Jackson. The NBA Finals are coming up. I got the Lakers in six. I got the Heat in seven. They've only lost three games. They're looking good, young team. I don't think LeBron's gonna be able to stop them. LeBron. LeBron in the playoffs is different, Jackson. I'm sorry. I, I agree with you, but the Lakers don't play that perimeter defense that also all the Heat do is just shoot threes. The only player the Heat have is Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler. Bam out of bio. Dropping like 20 a game. What are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Anthony Davis is locking that up. Imagine. So, anyway, Bears and Colts. Week four. What you got? I got Colts 21, Bears 7. Bro, what? I got Nick Foles throwing four touchdowns, zero picks. Phillip Rivers gets sacked like at least eight times, throwing six picks. You know, Bears win it like 45 to three. You know, I got I got a question. Are you just trying to get extra credit in this class? You know he's a Bears fan. Nah, just you know Nick Foles. He's, he's a demon. He's a demon. You know, he's he's not good. Phillip, yeah. I take Phillip Rivers over right, Nick right. Foles any day. No, 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 no. Nick Foles any day. Nick Foles any day. Nick Foles won the Super any Bowl. Day. Nick Foles won the Super Bowl. Now. Rings don't matter. Nick Foles won the Super Bowl. So, anyway, after week three, what are your Super Bowl predictions, Connor? Hmm. I'm going to go with the Chiefs, because, you know, Patty Mahomes. And I'm going to go Drew Brees and the Saints. I agree with you on the Chiefs, but I got the Seahawks going to the Super Bowl. You know, you see DK Metcalf sell? I saw it. Yeah, but... Russell Wilson, so. Russell I take Wilson Drew Brees over Russell Wilson any day. Mm hmm. All right. Drew Brees is the second best quarterback of all time. Yeah, behind Russell Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> the best quarterback of all time is Joe Montana. No, it's Tom Brady. But then Russell no, Wilson. Tom Brady is not Brees. good. He cheated. You can't be known. He's got six winner. Super Bowls. He cheated. Russell Wilson's he cheated. Drew Brees. Russell Wilson's better. No, he's not. Yes, he is. You want to look up stats? Yeah. All right, then. EC Sports signing off for the week. Bear down, fork shoe up. Well, that was lively, guys. Now back to Camille for no more news. Thanks, Emily. It's Tuesday, Crusaders, so that means we're back with some more Tuesday tech tips. We're continuing our focus on online learning since we're all doing that at least three days a week right now. Today's tip is to focus on learning and be an active listener. It's important that you be a participant, not an observer, when you're in a Teams meeting for a class. Take notes, ask questions, and comment during discussions. You are a member of the class just like those who are physically in the room, so take ownership of your learning, Crusaders. Be sure to contact your teachers and Mr. Potts right away if you are having trouble with anything. The faculty and Mr. Potts are here to support you. That's it for today's tech tips. As we go through the year, we'll offer more online learning tips as well as more specific technical tips and tricks. That's it for today's news. Stay safe and give that little extra.